Rusty deals here on Minnesota's Rust. 2005 Pontiac GTO uh, that needs a motor. Um, has a built transmission, larger fuel pump, just under 100,000 miles, cracked windshield, uh, driver's fender damaged, and no hood. Uh, I guess they set it down and forgot where they put it. I don't know. Um, the seller is also selling um, uh, a 5.3 that's been built. Uh, but then if you read the description further down, said they're not, uh, that'll be a separate price if you want that. So 8500 bucks for this kind of banged up GTO. There's a picture of how it sits right now. Um, that's a lot of money, if you ask me, for what you are buying. Uh, looking at what GTOs cost on Craigslist Marketplace, etc. Looks like you can find um, uh, a couple of stock Examples have not been all uh, hopped up for thirteen, fourteen thousand, and then about the same for uh, modified ones, going as high into the twenties, depending on how tasteful the modifications are. Something with a nice blower and a nice aftermarket six-speed um, is going to bring closer to twenty. But these are a nice car. Um, here is a little bit closer picture of the driver's side. You can see some kind of paint, paint scratches and scuffs here and there. Uh, I like the color, a uh, nice silver. Um, I remember when these GTOs first came out, they were pretty cool. Uh, it was, if you wanted a Camaro that didn't look flashy, you bought one of these. The problem with it is they did look very plain. So the last couple of years of the GTO, I don't know if they went as new as 06 or 07, they had you know hood scoops, but it still looked like a Grand Am or a Grand Prix or just a little bit different than a G6 for the days. But if you had aftermarket exhaust, you could definitely hear the rumble from that uh, LS3 V8. So here is a quick snapshot of the interior. This is an automatic car. You can see parts on the passenger seat. You see parts on the floor. Um, yeah, this would be quite an undertaking of putting it back together. But if the body is clean, um, they're asking too much, but if the body is clean, it wouldn't be a bad project to start with, especially if you had access to uh, another uh, uh, LS and whatever. Uh, you can see there is one long tube header hanging out there, and when the engine was taken out, you can see stuff doesn't look like it was cut, um, but it was definitely just pulled and, and gone. A lot of wires hanging, a lot of lines hanging. Um, yeah, it looked like it was. they were in a hurry to get that out. So, uh, to give you an example of who probably owned this before, uh, there is your glorious pinkish, reddish, whatever color you want to call those radiator hoses, and I'll just say that right there. Um, taking a look at um, the engine the person also has for sale, I'll include a couple of shots there. So this is a pretty standard 5.3, 706 heads are used off of uh, pretty much any truck application. They're good heads, um, they're a smaller combustion chamber, and make good power, so they're not, um, you know, off of a 6 liter, or, or uh, there's your standard cathedral heads, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, I do have an issue, though. Here's a couple pictures of that built motor. For somebody that builds a 5.3, um, they must not know a ton about them. These LS engines make really decent power, with typically nothing more than... Um, uh, a bigger cam and stiffer valve springs. It really is that easy. They can be a bolt-on um, 75 to 100 horse, depending on what kind of cam you're looking at. Uh, the, the pistons and rods have been known to hold up to um, 1,000 horsepower under boost. So apparently this engine, <coughs> excuse me, apparently this engine had, um, you know, lost a rod or lost a bearing and needed to be gone through top to bottom. Hence, it was put back together top to bottom. Uh, even new galley plugs you can see right there for the oil and um, whatnot. There's a, a pile of the parts that came off of it. I see some short tube headers there. So those must have been with that 5.3 that the person thought about selling, but apparently changed their mind if you read that description all the way. Um, there's your flywheel, there's your intake, and uh, various uh, wires down at the bottom, engine control systems. But here is kind of my issue with somebody um, taking a 5.3 to a shop. 
So here's a quick list of what was done to it. Um, you see they ground the crank, resurfaced the heads, and this was $4,600. You can buy a crate uh, long block built 5.3 from Summit for $3,800, for $4,100, for $4,900. And these are putting out uh, $450 to $460 horse. So I don't know why you would spend the money on that, but... I guess uh, it is the way it is, right? Everybody's got to do uh, what they what they got to do. With that being said, is this a, a good deal? I, I don't think so. That's a lot of money for not that much of a car, and you, you don't got an engine. Uh, what are you going to do next? So I'll let you decide on that. With that being said, uh, Rusty Deal is back at you here at Minnesota is 